This is Camp Kennedy. Hey, what's going on? We got a bonus video for you. We're still out here at Smooth Waters Wildlife Center with Nathan Sweeting. We got Kyle hanging out, Mike Haug from South Kakalaka. Say hello, Mike. What's going on? That's my boy. I love his accent. My, one of my favorites in the business, man. Anyway, uh, we're going to go in with Trapper. Now, we've done this at the old facility. Right. Um, but what, you know, new lay of the land. What do you want to accomplish when we go in there, bud? Well, he's he's coming. He's night and day different from uh, when you last saw. I mean, really? he still likes his little kind of running around stuff um, but I've done a lot of work with him as far as just like station training okay. station okay. behavior so so uh, his favorite spot in here was actually the back side of the enclosure but nobody could see him so I started working with him to come, come up sit here. up here all the time because you so, are open to the public and this yep. is one of your main attractions right. trappers yeah, unbelievable he's, he's just massive yeah how big is he now uh, he's nearly 13 feet wow. we don't uh, last time we measured him he was over 12 um, and that was, you know, a few years back and he's been growing pretty steadily. So it'd be interesting to see what he's at now, but he's, yeah. he's gotta be getting close to 13, yeah, if bet. not right there. Um, is that the so goal we'll of the see. day, to um, measure him out? Oh, is that what we're gonna do? We're not jumping this boy, I don't wanna jump yeah, him. Yeah, I don't know if yeah. he'll, I don't know if he'll <laughs> let us do that. <laughs> yeah, you know? sounds good. He's, he's warmed up and, and, uh, he doesn't mind a little physical contact. We well, you remember back before. Yeah. You don't touch him. <laughs> like, uh, so, oh uh, boy. So he's come a long way, and he's he's uh, pretty receptive. Some All right, let's stuff do it now. So we'll we'll, we'll let we we'll do. let Nathan do his thing, and we're just gonna roll today, folks. This is a bonus video. I love these because we're just free flowing, no edits. I'm so. not quite sure if I'm gonna try something first before we do the food part. Yeah, of this. no worries. Sometimes he likes to, if he's in the mood for some enrichment or some play, Okay. Uh, I'm gonna see if he wants to do that and then we can probably get him to run right back. Well, we'll watch again. you do your thing, man. If he doesn't want to do it, it's basically in a nutshell like, hey, look, you know, if you ask your kid, you wanna play catch? And he's like, nah, I just wanna sit here. Versus okay. him wanting. Well, let's let's see what it's like to ask a uh, almost 13 foot gator to come play with you. So here we go. Yeah, if you guys kind of post up here, yeah, I'll, I'm gonna go over there. All right. Actually, I gotta leave the important stuff in case something goes horribly wrong. So keys, keys yeah, to, to the, the wife. There you go. <laughs> and uh, you will. There you go. Phone. Money. Money. I love you. The wallet. Money. Money. What's funny is cut. Well, it's like funny. bad luck to have like a I love you. You know, like because if you yeah. didn't say it, then maybe fate gives you a chance to say it later again. So. Uh, well, the other thing that's funny is Tom is now his back is. To, to the big old gator. Tom <laughs> doesn't like that, I can no. tell you that. There you go, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right, right. you're on. He, we'll I can stuff. come out here though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Does he climb over the boardwalk? No, okay. um, well he hasn't yet, so I mean, we'll find out right now, but <laughs> I'm gonna run over here and okay. see if I can get him to come out. Chances are this could be very anticlimactic and he doesn't do anything at all, but we'll see what he wants to do. Hey buddy, you wanna go swimming? It looks like Nate, Nate's just decided to take a walk. Oh, somebody's in your pond. Trapper! I figure we shouldn't be too distracting, right? Maybe he'll... I don't know. You are wearing blue, and blue is the target color, Tom. So is Kyle. Oh, hey. bro. Come here, buddy. Of course. Wow, water. I think I'm just going to swim back across. How's the water today? Oh. Oop. <laughs> Nice. I don't think I don't think Trapper's in the mood for any calisthenics this afternoon. Oh, you, you, God, you're falling in there. I don't like that, Nate. Right, so he's he's gonna stay here. But this is a fun bonus, isn't it, folks? I mean, what better way to spend your Sunday than hanging out with Trapper? And you'll notice Trapper is wearing new for 2017 his duckweed ascot. I suppose you could say. Uh, all these ponds have duckweed in. It's actually good. Uh oh, hold on. Here we go. Someone's sneaking up behind him. You don't like that. Those pine needles make it slippy, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. We had to clear out quite a bit of that. He's in his blind spot, but not any longer. You didn't want to go play in the water? What's wrong? That's fine. No big deal. All right, buddy. I have to get over there, though. Oh, here he is now. Can you just hang out right here? You gotta hold. I gotta get over there because the food's over there. Listen, I don't have nothing. Hold. Hold. Good boy. Now I gotta get over there. Okay? Hey. No. Mm -hmm. hey. It's alright. 
Holy crap. <laughs> That's a big gator to be so calm with. Look at this. Look at this. Step down. I can step down? Yeah, step down. I'm baiting up here. Yeah. Oh. I mean, I'm, I got your back. Because I need that tree. <laughs> get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get <laughs> No, I was, yeah, I was, I want to come back over here to get that. Yeah, anyways. no worries. Because you feed them from this area, so this I was just baiting them today. I used to have that kind of a tree bush thing right there. I'm not happy with you let out a little bit of a hiss, man. Yep. He's a little frustrated, huh? And that's okay, because he wasn't listening. So you got to hold when I say hold. So it's part of your passion with crocodilians is actually doing the, the enrichment and the training. Yeah. And they are listen. they do respond to vocal commands. Yeah, they're a lot smarter than people have ever given them credit for. Their hearing is great, vision is great. Um, just like people, though, you find that some of them are more eager to learn <laughs> yeah. than others. You know, it's like, look at any workplace environment. Some people just are like a sponge and they want to soak up and learn as much as they can and really excel. Other people just kind of want to... Get through the day. Just get through the day. They don't really care. It's just like, eh, hey, just give me my check, <laughs> you know, and I'm, I'm on with it, so... Uh, or some just like to cause a lot of trouble, you know, so and animals are the same way Sometimes you have those kind of egotistical types that just yeah. Want to push everybody's buttons, but then sometimes you have and he's a good example. I mean, he's really eager to to learn and and kind of go along so he does get frustrated sometimes like mm -hmm. if we're trying to work on a new behavior or a new command if my communication isn't like a hundred percent clear and he's trying to learn then he'll get frustrated. Gotcha. You know, it's like, well, I'm trying to figure it out. What right. are you saying? Like, speak okay. clearer, you know, or... How long have you been working with him? How long have you guys been together? I've had him for uh, about four years now. Okay. Um, but actually, like, really getting in some, you know, solid training and really working some things out, it's been... Uh, well, with some of this stuff, Look at this. it's pretty recent. Only a couple months, really, trying to get the hold. No. Oh. Hold. Good boy. That's a good boy. Hold. No, you gotta stay there though. Good boy. Good boy. No. Stop. Hold. Good boy. There you go. That's so amazing. he's starting to get the hold thing. He used to get, uh, the, like, the, the come here was like to come rushing forward. He, but he would get that and hold confused, so he'd switch him around. Wow. So he'd hold on the come here. <laughs> and then he would charge on the on the hold. So, this is but weird. now, but you can see him where he's like, I'm trying to get it. I'm not sure what you're asking, you know. So he's he's starting to come along. Um, if I could spend every day in here with him working on it, that would be an ideal thing for training. But you know, I I, I get to do it throughout the week yeah. at, le at least three four times a week. Yeah, so it's impressive. it's coming along. But well, right. these are an animal to have to learn in in nature anyway. Come here. Up, 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 you can come up, come on, up, there you go, up, up, there you go, hold, hold, nope. hold, hold, good boy, good boy. Listen man, I've been around gators and crocs and stuff, you know, and uh, it's so impressive to see just the level of communication between these two. Hold. Hold. Good boy. That's amazing. That is amazing. This is not a mindless killing machine at this moment. This animal, you know, definitely knows that there is a reward for that good behavior. Yeah. I mean, and he knows he could, he knows he's stronger than me. And uh, he knows he could just blow right through this whole thing right now. Like, yeah. just mow me right over. Um, but, and it doesn't mean he wouldn't, you know. Uh, right. I mean, yes, we do have a relationship, um, but you know, I don't, I don't want to give the wrong impression. Like, it, it yeah, doesn't. I mean, it makes it safer for me, yes, but it's not. You know, it's, it's, it's as fickle as any human relationship. You know, you can have a bad scenario and a bad day, and uh, you know, your best friend can be your not best friend the next day. You know. Gotcha. Okay in the right scenario. Yeah, so, so what you're saying is you're not going to be cuddling with this animal at any point. Yeah, this. and I mean, you you know, there's a lot you can do training-wise and desensitization-wise, but um, the long and the short of it is he's still an individual. He's still his own 
He has his own mind, his own likes, and his own dislikes. You know, and dislikes. Where yeah. He wants. Gotcha. So, but he like he goes along with the training. It's very well, and as long as I keep a good relationship with us, and it's and it's benefits him as well, then there's no reason he wouldn't want to go along with it. Gotcha. You know, and he's going to act differently for me than he would for anybody else, and it's That's just the truth. yeah. Yeah, so, I couldn't go in here and do this. He he's well. Let's. Up, they, you know, they're smart. They know different people. They know different voices. Um, so it's the bond that you've created with that animal. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, but but you, you know, so if you, let's say you were here all the time and you were a trainer also, he's going to decide how he feels about you very quickly. Okay. He's going to decide how he feels about me very quickly. And uh, he might like you better than me. You know, you might do things a certain way or, or whatever, and for other reasons, he might like me over you. And it's just, you know, it's just like us, like workplace yeah. environment. Also, an important thing to note is knowing exactly the range of motion. Yeah. You know, it's like basically preparing for a for a fight, like a cage match or something. You know, you know your opponent. I know his limitations, the mechanics, his range. Okay, that's good. We're gonna turn around again. But you have to stop right there. Okay, ready? Hold. Hold. Nope. Uh-uh. Hmm. Come in. Yep. Hold. Right there. Stop. Hold. Oh, good catch. Oh, dang, you missed it. Mm. <laughs> you don't like that position. Well, now I got a tight spot right there because he can slide downhill. So, so even though he can spin from like the tip of his nose to about halfway up his tail, so he can come around this nice big circle here. Yep. Because he's on that slope, I have to account for slide. So it extends his strike range by at least another foot or so. So that puts me right up against that tree. If he were to swing that way, come on. Turn some. Come on. Well, listen, man, thanks so much for uh, showing us what you've been doing with Trapper. This is a really cool bonus video, I think, folks, huh? Not every day you get to hang out with a well-behaved, almost 13-foot, basically, dinosaur. I'm going to stick around and watch a little bit more. You guys go. Have a great Sunday. We'll see you later, man. Bye, Trap. I know you call him Trapper. That mouth will get you every time. <laughs>